An event that's come to Terre Haute for the past 50 years will have to miss this year. The Indiana Special Olympics has decided to make their events virtual this year due to COVID-19. Newsom's Dominic Miranda joins us now with more on how organizers are looking at the positives. Indiana Special Olympics President Jeff Moeller told me they knew back in March that there was a very real possibility that the Special Olympics couldn't take place as planned here at Indiana State University and Rose Holman. Although many are disappointed in Terre Haute, Moeller says they're using this as an opportunity to instill a message of hope to their athletes. I would say that that's certainly probably the lowest point of my career here with Special Olympics was that date when we announced it. The Indiana Special Olympics are going virtual due to COVID-19 concerns. They've been held in Terre Haute for the last 50 years. It's something that Dave Patterson of the Vigo County Convention and Visitors Bureau calls disheartening, and it goes far beyond the financial impact on the city. We're all disappointed. You know, I mean, uh, beyond the, the money it brings our, to our community and the, the 5,000 people, you know, it's also a, a tremendous event of goodwill and people coming together to showcase their talents. The opening ceremonies will commence on June 12th as planned. However, instead of just one weekend, they will have five weeks of virtual sports and fitness challenges. Local community programs across the state can accumulate points and compete against each other. Indiana Special Olympics President Jeff Moeller says being able to adapt was very important to them and the athletes. For us to be able to advertise a virtual summer games was actually not a disappointment. It was actually a spark of hope. Uh, that we could do something, even though we're not going to be together in person, that there would be something for our athletes. Last year was their 50th anniversary. Muller says that was a message of celebration. Now he believes this year will be even more important to athletes, and it will instill a message of hope. And then that next year, uh, in 2021, for our 52nd anniversary, the message will be even more heightened because it's going to be a message of reunion when we all are back together again in Terre Haute at, at summer games. Muller says they are incredibly appreciative of the support shown by the entire Terre Haute community. He says we should all gear up for a huge crowd coming back next year to continue the Special Olympic Games. All dates and details about this year's information are on our website. That's WTHITV.com. In Terre Haute, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10.